Hello students. In this video, we'll discuss two questions which employ similar triangles and circles. This is a calculator set. Question one, tangents to a circle at points P and Q on the circle intersect at a point R. So let's draw this. Let this be the circle. Let this be the point R. Then this is one tangent at point P, and this is the other tangent at point Q. This is the radius, and this would be perpendicular to the tangent. PQ is six, so this straight line is six, and PR is five. So RQ will also be five because length, tangent lengths from a common point are equal, then what is the radius of the circle R? Okay, so if I draw the line OR, where O is the center of the circle, then I can see that triangle OPR is congruent to triangle OQR, right? Because by the property of SAS, uh, also by the property of RHS. And so this angle and this angle is 90 degrees. If that is the case, then if we call this point M, then PM and MQ will be equal when each of these will be three. And if we apply Pythagoras theorem to PMR, then MR, this distance will be four. Now we can apply similar triangles. Let's let me show you which two triangles I'm looking at. I'm looking at triangle O P R. That's triangle one. And I'm looking at triangle P M R. That's my second triangle. These two are similar triangles. Why? Because you can see that uh, this angle PMR, angle PMR is equal to angle OPR, which is 90 degrees. And angle R is the common angle to both triangles. So triangle OPR is similar to triangle PMR, right? And so OP divided by PR will be PM divided by MR. So OP is the radius divided by PR is five is equal to PM which is three divided by MR which is four. So the radius is five into three by four which is 15 by four, option C. Let's go to question two. The diameter AB of a circle of radius two, so let's draw a circle. Let's call this the diameter AB and let this be the center and the radius is two. So this is two and this is two is extended to a point D outside the circle so that BD is three. Okay, so this is BD is three. Point E is chosen so that ED is five and line ED is perpendicular to line. Okay, so let's say this is E and ED is five and this is perpendicular. Segment AE intersects the circle at point C. So let's say this is AE. So this is point C. What is the area of triangle ABC? Okay, this triangle, what is the area of this triangle? Now I know that this angle will be 90 degrees because angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. And so I again see that triangle ACB is similar to triangle ADE because 
angle A is common and angle ACB and angle ADE are both 90 degrees. Now, what can I do with this information? If the area of triangle ABC has to be found, its ratio with the area of triangle ADE will be the ratio of AB by AD, the whole squared. Because the ratio of the areas of similar triangles is the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Now, interestingly, I already know AB. AB is four. And I can find um, AD, right? Is it? No, it would be AE here because AB is similar to AE. So I'll just change that. This has to be AE. Yeah. AE whole squared. And AE will be, if this is five and this whole is seven, then by Pythagoras theorem, AE will be square root of 25 plus 49, which is square root of 74. So I find that AB by AE, the whole square is easily found. What is area of ADE? Area of ADE is half base into height, which is half, the base is seven and the height is five. So that's 35 by two. And so with those data points, I can say that area of triangle ABC is area of triangle ADE, which is 35 by two, multiplied by four by root 74, the squared, which is 35 by two into 16 by 74, which is two eights are 16, two fours are eight, 37, so that comes to 140 by 37, option D. If you find this channel useful, please subscribe and help us grow the channel. Thank you.